Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a wear test on another Elta MD sunscreen. And this time, it's going to be the UV Restore sunscreen. So I hope you guys enjoy today's content. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so I can create more contents like this. So I have recently reviewed the Elta MD UV Element sunscreen and this one has hyaluronic acid. I did like the finish of the sunscreen but it is so oily for my skin so I have ordered the other Elta MD sunscreen which is the UV Restore sunscreen. So I'm hoping this sunscreen is not as oily. The UV Restore sunscreen is a little bit different from the UV Element sunscreen. This sunscreen has zinc oxide, titanium dioxide and hyaluronic acid versus this sunscreen has zinc oxide, titanium dioxide but it also has squalene, um, saccharide isomers, and ginger roots extract. So I'm hoping it is not too oily because squalene is an oil. It's going to smooth out the edges of your skin cells so your skin will look glowy. And the saccharide isomers also helps to smooth out the edges of your skin cells so your skin cells will look glowy. It also holds water or moisture into your skin so your skin will look plump. And ginger root extract helps to fade dark spots so it's going to even out your skin tone. It is also an antioxidant, so it's going to help to scavenge all the free radicals in your skin that is going to damage your skin. So I actually really like this ingredient in this sunscreen. And this is how the sunscreen looks like. It looks very similar to the UV element sunscreen. I feel like this color is a little bit darker for my skin tone, but the sunscreen only has one color. Just like the UV elements, this sunscreen blends out really fast. It absorbs into my skin really fast as well. My skin looks very glowy, very silky. It looks like I'm wearing a light layer foundation. So I do really, really like this finish. I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day and see how it does. It has been six hours and this is how my skin looks like. Now my skin is super oily. It is as oily as the other Elta MD. So this sunscreen is not for me. Although my skin is not drying, I do like the finish of this sunscreen just like the other one as well. I'm going to put the two sunscreens side by side so you can see the difference on my skin. So this is the UV Restore, which I'm going to put on the left hand side here. The color, the texture, the finish is very, very, if not, it's exactly the same to each other. And this is the UV element. So in conclusion, this sunscreen is also not for me because it's very oily on my skin. Even though it said it's oil-free, but it's super oily. If you were to see my face outside and not through the camera, it is very, very oily. And I do like the ingredients, the saccharides isomers, the um, squalenes, and the ginger root extracts. I also have this Elta MD UV Restore. This one is SPF 40. This one doesn't have a tint, but I've used the tinted one before. And... It also oil free, but the sunscreen is also very oily for my skin. And this is how it looks like. The non-tinted has a bit of a cast versus the tinted version one. These Elta MD sunscreens do not work for oily skin because they're very, very oily. And so that is it for today. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below. All that really helps out my YouTube algorithm and that really helps me to create more contents. So like always, I'll see you next time. Bye.